The housing market is cranked into full gear and more potential home buyers are wondering how they can get in on the action. Ben. Yeah, well, Seattle seems to have treated a hot housing market for a hot summer this year. And even though it seems a lot more like October out there than August, this has not really affected the strength of the local housing market. That's right, and this has gotten us thinking about people looking for unique and affordable ways to buy a home in today's market. Yeah, and if that refers to you or your clients, then there are really five state-sponsored programs that should be on your list. I'm Ben Brashen. I'm Ryan Leopold, and welcome back to Mortgage Resource TV. There's a misconception that people need a lot of money to buy a house these days, which is simply not true. Yeah, in fact, there are five programs that help people buy homes today with little to no down payment and in more affordable ways than ever. And at the end of this video, we'll show you how to determine which one is right for you. But first, here are the programs that are available. Ryan, huh? have you ever wanted to live out in the country, throw on a cowboy hat, milk some cows, and maybe listen to a little Miley Cyrus or Taylor Swift? <laughs> no, but country living is becoming as popular as country music these days. Well, the guaranteed USDA Rural Housing Program serves families who have reasonable credit histories and are able to afford the mortgage payments, including mortgage insurance and taxes. You can receive up to 102% financing, making the goal of home ownership outside the rustle and bustle of the metropolitan area, where it's a little slower, a reality. Now we know not everyone is a little country like Ben. So Fannie Mae Homepath may be more of the city dweller's alley, so you can purchase a Fannie Mae owned property with low down payment, no lender required appraisal, and no mortgage insurance. Plus, the seller can contribute towards the closing costs. This is available for owner-occupied homes and investors while offering flexible mortgage terms for home buyers with as little as 660 credit scores. Ah, uh, the city. Where my beloved Seahawks start playing in just a few weeks. Mm. And speaking of Seahawks who are currently in training camp, there are also loan programs that allow you to buy a house after a little bit of training. In Washington, there are two loan programs that require a free home buyer education seminar to qualify. The Home Advantage Loan Program is designed to help low to moderate income buyers purchase a new home. In Washington, your household income cannot exceed $97,000 annually, and you may also qualify for a second mortgage to be used for the down payment and closing costs up to 4% of the first mortgage loan amount. Now, you also need to attend a home buyer seminar to qualify for the House Key State Bond Program, which actually provides down payment assistance in the form of a second mortgage up to $10,000 for qualified buyers. And it can also be used with FHA conventional VA loans and of course the good old fashioned country rural housing. No matter if you're a little country or you love the city, everyone likes to save money on taxes. And that's what the mortgage credit certificate will do. MCCs are not mortgages, they're tax credits that put extra cash in your pocket each month so you can more easily afford a house payment, which means fewer tax dollars are withheld from your regular paycheck, increasing your take home pay. Applications are accepted on a first come, first served basis by a statewide network of lenders. It is strongly recommended that you contact a tax professional before applying for an MCC in order to determine the potential benefits an MCC may provide for your specific tax situation. Now with all of these programs, you might be asking which one is best for me or for you. And the reality of these programs is that each has its advantages and its disadvantages. The lower down payments are usually coupled with higher rates, and the state assistance programs can actually limit your options to refinance or sell once you own the home. Oftentimes, these programs are sought after by home buyers who actually qualify for less expensive programs, but the way these are marketed can make them appear to be too good to pass up. Now, taking some time to know how much you have for a down payment and what you can afford monthly should give you the details you need for a lender to really appropriately guide you towards the right loan program, even if it's just a simple conventional or FHA loan. Our advice, don't get too caught up in the sexiness of a program that may not be what's right for you. Rather, get a clear understanding of your goals and your financial situation and find a professional lender who can guide you in the right direction based on what's most important to you and your family. That's right, Ryan. I mean, a good lender won't just take your order and deliver it to you. 
They'll take the time to get to know what's most important to you and then deliver the right loan to meet your needs. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll catch you next time on Mortgage Resource TV. Ryan, <laughs> you strongly recommended. <clears throat> Episode 12, <clears throat> scene one, take one. What? Scene 12? Episode 12, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Whenever you're ready, go oh. ahead and start. <laughs> Ryan, have you ever wanted to live out in the country, throw on a cowboy hat, milk some cows, and maybe listen to a little Miley Cyrus or Taylor Swift? No, but country music is becoming a spur. <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> have you? <laughs> but the way these are marketed can make them appear to be good to pass up. Be too good to pass up.